Now, Darren, a little surprised to see you out here, man. Now, when did you make the move from West Coast to East? I've been out here since January, mm. um, back at the beach, you know. I went from coast to coast. I love the beach, you know, so you can always find me at a beach somewhere. But more importantly, uh, I got with, you know, the best coaches in the world and um, best, best gym in the world, you know, best training partners in the world. And I'm here to just continue to grind. I think I'll be here to finish out my career. So um, I really feel like I, already I've been growing since January and just ready to show the world what, what we've been doing out here, you know. Yeah, and I always kind of correlate you as a SoCal guy, but uh, was that the result of the last fight that prompted this? Was this something you were thinking about maybe even before then? Well, I've always liked Henry Hoof, you know, his, his, his coaching style, um, Greg Jones, you know, and then um, when you're on the West Coast, uh, I'm an East Coast boy, you know, I was born in, in, in Jersey, but you always hear about the, the, the Southern Florida training, and um, it's always been like a, a kind of kind of a myth to me, you know, so I just wanted to get out here and get, get a feel of it. And I feel like out here, like, I guess when I first got into MMA, um, everything was on the West Coast, you know, West Coast was like years ahead of the sport. And I feel like that's the transition here, you know, it's like I'm learning so much new sh shit out here and then, um, out here to just on another level. Yeah, and uh, this is my first time being at this facility. Obviously, incredible stuff, uh, a room full of killers. Can you already feel just after a few months your game going to a new level? Oh, yeah, I'm already stronger. You know, I'm just walking around. My, my abs are popping out, you know, just on, on a regular day where, you know, um, <clears throat> that's just because you got to come in here and grind. You know, it's no, like, when you, when, when you say no easy goals, it really is no easy goals in here. Whether you're drilling, you're going live, you know, you're wrestling, jiu-jitsu or you striking you know it's just no easy easy days no easy goals and so it's gonna show eventually you know i think uh the product is is here it's it's good here you know um and it's just a testament to the coaches and um the state of the state of our facilities always help you know you walk in with white white mats you know it's just in the morning at 10 o'clock in, in the morning with with coal in your eyes and it's like man it just brightens up your, your morning you know you say fuck the coffee you walk on the mat you're ready to go you know yeah natural booster uh, um so i guess as far as things stand with you right now uh, what are you looking towards as far as the you know the future in terms of your fighting career well everybody know i'm back at bantamweight you know who's the real bantamweight champion there you know um and obviously um COVID hit we had to wait a long a little longer to, um than uh we wanted to um you know to I guess Juan Archuleta, he's a champion, you know. Um, he's, he's a great fighter, you know. It's, I, I think Bell, Bellator has done a great job with filling out that pool, you know. Um, got a lot of great fighters now at Bellator at, at Bantamweight, you know. It, when I was there, it was just, I felt like it was just me, you know. I felt like I was like the only guy and they were pulling guys from other organizations to come fight me. And so um, it's cool to see the, the, the organization or the, the weight class is filled out with a lot of talent. And so I'm going to, I'm going to test myself back at Bantamweight, you know, um, but we already know what's up when I get back down there, you know, there's no, there's no questions. Yeah, we're close to a title fight there, obviously Juan Archuleta fighting uh, Sergio Pettis, how do you see that one going? It's a good fight, you know, I think Ar Archuleta, is, he's got the ability to take him down and, and, and control him, um, I think it's going to be pretty even on the feet, but I think Archuleta will come out with a victory. Interesting. And uh, since you last fought, Bellator's introduced rankings. What do you think of, uh, you know, those being now in the in the factor? And do you think kind of the way things are laid out, maybe you get the winner of this fight? Um, well, I hope so. You know, the goal is to, you know, fight for the belt, you know, as simple as that, you know, because I am a champion. I don't want to fight three round fights, you know, but if that's what I got to do to be the champion again, that's what I'm going to do. But um, I like the ranking systems. You know, it gives you kind of a, a timeline or an estimate of, you know, when you are, you know, ready or in, next in line to, to fight for a title. Um, I don't look too much into them because I'm not in, in the rankings right now, you know. Um, but uh, I think rankings are cool, you know, because it, it just gives that, that, that little that little spunk, that little edge. If I'm number eight and I'm fighting a number four guy, you know, I want to, you know, beat the number four guy. I, I want to make, it just makes the fight more interesting, you know? Definitely, and that's kind of part of the, the fresh era of Bellator here in 2021. I know they took a few months off, but back with the Showtime deal, the rankings, um, is this an exciting, exciting time to be a Bellator fighter? It seems like a lot of new, interesting stuff going on. For me, it's always been an exciting time to be a Bellator fighter. I've been loving the organization since I got in here in 2012, and I mean, they've been nothing but fair to me, treated me, they treat me great. They treated all the fighters good, so, um, 
why wouldn't you want to fight here at this organization? For sure. And last thing, um, perfect world. When do we see you back in there and potentially against who? Perfect world. Perfect world isn't so perfect, you know. Um, but uh, I just want to get out there and, and just showcase what I've been what, I, what I've been working out here. You know, I feel like it's a like this is the back half of my career. Um, the Wolf 2.0 is coming, and 2021 is going to be my year. Awesome, man. We're looking forward to it. Appreciate the time. Thank you.